Day Radio News, I'm Wendy King. President Trump has appointed his budget director, Mick Mulvaney, to serve as acting White House chief of staff. Here's more from USA's Rick Vincent. Democratic Congressman John Garamendi of California says the upheaval at the White House is bordering on the ridiculous. It is absolutely crazy time. Mulvaney has now three jobs. Uh, first of all, acting is the right word. The president has not had a chief of staff. He's trying to do it all by himself, and the result is ultimate chaos. Trump announced last week that John Kelly, who served in the post for more than a year, would soon be departing. The president's first choice was Nick Ayers, the vice president's chief of staff, who bowed out after being unable to come to an agreement on how long he would serve in the post. Earlier Friday, former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie withdrew from consideration to serve as chief of staff. For USA Radio News, I'm Rick Vincent. You're listening to USA Radio News. Hi, this is Wayne Allen Root, and I've got a voice problem. My voice easily gets hoarse. That's a big problem when you're a talk show host. I three hours a day on radio and TV. That's 720 hours a year. I have to protect my voice. Well, those problems are a thing of the past. My throat's 110% better. My throat is now a workhorse. That's because of my doctor suggests all natural silver lozenges. I pop these lozenges all day long and all show long. Silver has been used historically to destroy bacteria, virus, even yeast. Now, a more advanced silver formula is available in a liquid, gel, or lozenge form. These lozenges work. I'm living proof. They're a miracle for me. They'll work for you urge you to try these amazing, remarkable, all-natural lozenges today. Call 866-660-9868. That's 866-660-9868. Or go to MyDoctorSuggest.com. Use promo code ROOT10 to save 10% off. That's MyDoctorSuggest.com. It appears the Trump brand profited from the inauguration of Donald Trump. Ivanka Trump is now being mentioned in an investigation of alleged fleecing by the inaugural committee. Federal prosecutors in New York are investigating the committee for possible financial abuses related to the more than $100 million donations that it raised. Documents show committee organizers complained to Ivanka that the Trump Hotel was attempting to charge $175,000 per day for the use of a ballroom and other meeting rooms in the hotel. Another storm is bringing the threat of serious flooding to the East Coast, Flood watches are posted from Florida north to the Maryland-Pennsylvania border. Up to four inches of rain could fall by the end of the weekend. There could be significant flooding due to the rain and snow melt from the last storm that dumped up to two feet of snow in areas of North Carolina and Virginia. You're listening to USA Radio News. The following update is for drivers who pay too much for car insurance due to DUIs, DWIs, tickets, or anything else. Our company specializes in low-cost SR-22 auto insurance. We know that mistakes happen and offer free quotes for very affordable auto insurance meant specifically for you, the overpaying high-risk driver. The quote is free and we'll handle the filing so you could start saving money. Call 800-758-0725. 800-758-0725. 800-758-0725. Police in Colorado are looking for a missing mom. They're calling her fiancé a person of interest and want to question him in the disappearance of Kelsey Burnett, KCNC-TV's Melissa Garcia. Police focused on the fluorescent home of Patrick Frazee, searching for clues in the disappearance of his fiancée, Kelsey Barrett. The 29-year-old mom's been missing since Thanksgiving, and officials say her family is hurting. Um, it was a really difficult night last night. It's been a tough couple of days. Police say Frazee was the last person to see the Woodland Park woman during an exchange of their one-year-old daughter. Three days after her disappearance, Barrett's phone pinged in Idaho. Now investigators want to find out if he traveled there. A holiday tradition has been canceled at the White House. USA's Chris Barnes reports from Washington. President Trump canceling the White House holiday party for members of the media, making a decades-old tradition another victim of an increasingly contentious relationship with major news organizations. A statement from a White House official says, quote, The White House Christmas press party was not put on the holiday schedule, but we have accommodated members of the media and their families who have asked to see the holiday decorations by arranging open White House tours for them. Fox News noting that the White House is holding some other holiday parties to which favorable media members are invited. For USA Radio News, I'm Wendy King.
Insurance is one of those things that just about everybody needs, but few people actually have. Hey, if you die unexpectedly without life insurance, guess what? You'll leave your family with even a bigger mess. Life insurance will help replace your family's income. It'll help cover burial expenses. Life insurance can even help pay off debt like credit cards and medical bills. Life insurance can even pay for college. And if you own a business and you die, life insurance can help your business from collapsing. It can even help cover estate taxes. Life insurance has never been more affordable and needed. Plus, you can always shop around even if you have a plan and save some money. So call the Life Insurance Quote Line right now for free pricing information. 800-915-9658. 800-915-9658. That's 800-915-9658. Welcome to the Garden America Show, the country's most listened to gardening program. This is your chance to join us as we talk about gardening, horticulture, landscaping, in fact, anything that has to do with the world of gardening. The phone lines are open right now at 1-855-424-9825. That's 1-855-424-9825 for your questions and comments or john at gardenamerica.com. And if you're watching us on Facebook Live, you can also post your questions and comments right there on our page during the broadcast. Now, here's Brian Maine, John Bagnasco, and Tiger Palafox, the Garden America Radio and Media Network. And a very pleasant uh, good morning. Happy Saturday, exactly six minutes after the hour. Hope you had a good week. And uh, the weekend is underway, and uh, we appreciate it when you start your weekend with us here. Garden America, Brian, John Bagnasco, Tiger Palafox. We'll have a special guest today. You may have heard of this uh, guy, which we'll talk about a little later on in the program. In the meantime, if you do want to pick up the phone and call us, it is uh, 855-424-9825. You can also reach us at john at gardenamerica.com, Facebook Live, questions, comments. We keep that rolling, and we are ready, Tiger, for another uh, fantastic show, two hours. Two hours How about of that? pure fun. Can we do two there hours and talk about the horticulture and gardening? And We do it every Saturday. We've, so that's, far, we've that's, fooled that's everybody. It. Let's see if we can do it again. Yeah, but are we giving factual information? That's the next question. <laughs> uh, ever since Google came out. <laughs> you know, it's just like Dragnet here. It's nothing just, but the facts. Just the facts. Yep. Uh, morning, guys. Good morning, John. You look good. You look uh, Had a busy week. Tan, rested, and ready. Sold my house. You're happy about that. Yeah. Now, trying. <laughs> now I need to sell this computer and get a new computer. I, you can't use John at Garden America. I can't get email. Really? Can't do that today? No. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I guess uh, Facebook Live, or the because we'll see that right away, or the phone number, 855-424-9825. Unless I can just use my iPhone. You could use your iPhone. I yep. could, I you could, could do, do that. that, sure. Clever. So maybe we will give you a John at GardenAmerica.com later on. First two yeah. years, Tiger was with us. That's all he did was use Jesus. his little phone during the show. <laughs> oh, now he's got all this equipment in here. Yeah. and. Uh, so far, I'm so to good. Simplify. I'm trying to simplify. I think that's why things were messing up. I was getting too, too out there. We could be honest and say that we think one of the problems was a dead battery, which we replaced. Yeah, hopefully yeah, that, that was one. Yeah, of the hopefully problems. that was the problem. Yeah, if the if you watching on Facebook, if the audio was uh, you know cutting in and out uh, was a battery problem, we fixed that. We got a new battery. And uh, those of you that have you know that have maybe migrated away from Facebook, come on back because I think we have our problem solved. <laughs> we think, and Tiger's yeah. got little tricks that he's going to be doing too along the way. But right now, we're going to keep it simple. Yeah. yeah. So, Tiger, what's happening uh, retail-wise uh, uh, during the Christmas season over at Mission Hills Nursery? So, right now, things are wrapping up with Christmas trees. So, we, you know, have sold through. So, Christmas season for Christmas trees starts the week before Thanksgiving. That's when we get in the first shipment of trees. It's pretty kind of standard, I think, for most people. Mm -hmm. From the week before Thanksgiving till now what has that been three weeks four weeks now no three weeks um we've moved through 1,000 trees wow we have 200 left and we'll probably sell about another 100 before christmas so mm -hmm. we'll probably end up with about 100 trees left over which is kind of like what we actually shoot for you know kind of a thing we want that right you never sell the last yeah time. usually you don't. no well we have before in the past <laughs> My dad's been very upset about that. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. And, um, you know, poinsettias are wrapping up. Um, 
the amaryllis the we 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 talked about forcing amaryllis right. last week and those are starting to spike and bloom and you know have for gifts the paper whites are all spiked and blooming um the 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 for us in southern california and on the west coast all of our winter flowers are in the pansies snapdragons all that fun stuff to put into your you know yard for color during this time right, of year right right a lot that's, of people want color, especially this time of year. Oh, that they're, they're eating for it. That's why we were talking about forcing the bulbs. Is you know, you would ask John, why do people do this? Right. Well, when it's four feet of snow outside and you haven't seen anything but white and gray for three weeks, it's nice to have that red amaryllis growing in your kitchen or that was our podcast or... topic last week as well yeah if you want to go to our podcast and uh, listen to the show it was on forcing bulbs and we get into more detail about what you just talked about yeah so yeah people are itching for color right now but uh, and, and it's a good time for i mean you remember that area that i was telling you guys i planted with that trial irrigation system right i mean it's doing great the irrigation system is working great everything's doing great but i i, I kind of feel a little bit of the success is the what have we got? An inch, two inch and a half of rain that we've gotten over the past month. And then yeah. yesterday was the hottest day we've had in I think quite I got some time. Five inches of rain up in my house. Yeah, jeez. At least that's what my rain gauge. That is. helps. Yeah, everything looks good. That patio's looking good. My patio, I'm sure. It's been perfect winter weather for us. Yeah. And you mentioned on Facebook that you know the veggie pot holds, oh, yeah. wa- holds water really well. You haven't had to water it all, right? Yeah, that was another one I planted up and. I watered it when I planted it, and I have not watered it since. And it's been in, I think, for a month or so as well. And that nice shade pot. cloth, it almost acts almost as a humidifier in there. It keeps it yeah. moist. Keeps it te- keeps it damp, damp and yeah, everything. Damp. But for me, that cloth for the veggie pod, and it's this dome covering. If you guys go on the Facebook and see it, you can see pictures of this veggie pod. For me, it's the rodents because I have – a, a rodent problem on my property. I mean, now you're elevated rats, and covered stuff and it's elevated. It's covered. I've got lettuce in there. I've got broccoli. I've got the snap peas and they're doing great. Yeah. It, it almost, you know, Brian, you had a gopher in yours, as I recall. <laughs> it was a little, you no. Know, and he got through some of that little cloth there. The tiger's talking about, you're going to have a great harvest. Yeah. And, and you will, as you know, taste the difference between that and store bought. Oh, definitely. You know what? Um, are, uh, want to make our listeners aware of is that I got an email today from Veggie Pod that said they were having a 10% off sale right now. And I think the Veggie Pods are a great bargain to begin with, but if you can get 10% off, you know. And, and you've got a smaller one that you use, don't you, John? Or I use like a small that? one just for rooting cuttings. Right. But I like that it's on a, a stand with wheels that I can move wherever I want. And, yep. and this time of year, because it has been cool, uh, I don't. I turned off the misting yep. system. So. You know, I just occasionally, you know, I think maybe once a week I'll, I'll water it down a little bit. But even in the winter, the rose cuttings are rooting. Yeah. So those veggie pods are awesome, but they make a great kiss, Christmas gift. Oh, yeah. You know, if you got one of those and got up in the morning and had this giant box, that would be great. It would be <laughs> fun. It's not too hard to put together either. It snaps together fairly simple. Right. I'm trying to think, was there any tools? I think I it was all snap. It was. I mean, for the for the rolling system, the wheels. We I brought think there it. Was we brought it in studio. Right. And then we rolled it out, and then we took the top off. We got it into yeah. my car, and over to my place for two years, and now you've got it. I think the veggie pot itself is all snapped together. I think mm-hmm. the the wheel cart system that they have for it it requires, I think, a screwdriver or something. Put but it I, this way, I, I think can't it's, remember, but I I put mine together, and it didn't take very long. It's simpler than putting something together from. Yeah. Oh gosh. Yeah. So <laughs> let's let's just that's your yeah. standard baseline yeah. right there. Yeah. So, John, uh, quote of the week. Let's get to that. Our, our guest. Oh, okay. We're not going to tell people who our guest is. Yeah, we're going we su- to surprise them. Yeah. But anyway, our guest is locked and loaded. At first, it just said loaded, and then it said locked. So I <laughs> understood that. It's a little too early for that. I, the quote <laughs> of the week is from John Muir. Oh, the John Muir. I've been up to his woods up in uh, Northern California. Yeah. This one needs yeah. some explaining. Great naturalist. And he said that nature chose for a tool, not the earthquake or lightning, to rend and split asunder. Not the stormy torrent or eroding rain, but the tender snow flowers noiselessly, noiselessly falling through unnumbered centuries. So I think what he's talking about. Let's break that down for the class. I was going to say, let's give John an overhead projector and you can break this down for us, John. Well, I think what he's saying is that it's not the violent aspects of nature that shape the, the, the world, the natural world. 
but it's something that's softer and gentler, like just snowflakes over centuries and centuries, you know, that end up uh, uh, shaping things. Oh. Well, if I was Curly from the Three Stooges, I'd say, why didn't you say so? <laughs> <laughs> well, they talked differently back then. They did. A lot of words to say what you just said in a much simpler way. Yeah. By the way, if you do get our newsletter. And, uh, and if you don't, why not? Yeah, because it's simple and doesn't cost you anything. What do you do, Brian? Just go to... Go to GardenAmerica.com, right. and I think it's... Is it on the right-hand side of the page? Right. Upper right-hand corner. Upper right. You click, and you subscribe to our newsletter. Uh, pictures, articles, uh, topics, uh, upcoming guests, everything you want to know about Garden America each week is right there. And in this week's newsletter, some holly jolly holiday recipes from Sharon Oshikawa. Sharon's got her recipes. If you want to make their traditional family vanilla crescent cookies. And the other thing I wanted to mention is that we've been getting a lot of orders for the HB 101 Not gift surprised. Pack, a great stocking stuffer. Our website's back up and running, right? Oh, yeah. It's running really well. So if you, um, actually, if you're watching on Facebook, you can see a picture of that. <laughs> yeah, right? on Facebook, you can see a little snowman and a little Christmas package or holiday package of HB 101. Yeah. And we want to thank Tiger for the graphics. <laughs> yeah, but what I wanted to mention is that if you order this weekend, those orders will go out on Monday and you will get them in time for Christmas. It will. Yeah. How do we do it? Volume. Volume. That's exactly. That's exactly. <laughs> how do we do it? Volume. That's how we do it. All right. So what else? We've got, uh, well, we're going to go to a break here, I think, here as the music starts to play. We'll come back with our guest. We've got everything out of the way we need to, right? Yeah. John's opening monologue it's, went over well. Starting off strong. <laughs> yeah, very strong here. We are on Facebook Live. Uh, tell your friends that no problem so far. Things are good. Fingers crossed. You can also reach us with questions and comments at 855-424-9825. John at GardenAmerica.com, if he uses his small little phone. Facebook Live will continue to that. We can answer your questions right away. Also, Biz Talk Radio streaming as we continue going to a break. Garden America coming right back. Want a better looking lawn with less effort? Automower is the effortless way to mow. Husqvarna's intelligent design allows the automower to maneuver around your lawn without supervision, even over tricky terrain and around obstacles. It knows when it needs to be charged and directs itself back to the charging dock. With convenient control options, the Husqvarna allows you to set it and forget it, even from your smartphone. Thanks to Husqvarna, you can have a great looking lawn and more time to enjoy it this season. Visit Mission Hills Nursery at 1525 Fort Stockton Drive in San Diego or go to missionhillsnursery.com for more info. This is Joe Lample from Growing a Greener World. With the environment in mind, I recommend Melorganite Organic Nitrogen Fertilizer for all your growing needs. From plants to people, active growth requires energy, nutrients, and a balanced diet. Nutrient-rich Melorganite feeds the soil and plants for up to three months. The organic nitrogen is slow release and won't burn plants even during hot, dry weather. Trust the fertilizer proven effective for 90 years. Melorganite, for better results naturally. Visit Melorganite.com for a garden center near you. Head ball coach Steve Spurry. And I know just how stressful it can be when time is tight and you need points on the board. Well, just like my funny gun offense, AmeriFactor is the fast-moving game winner when it's fourth down and your business can't afford a funding fumble. Providing up to 98% of receivables in as little as 24 hours, your business can get the cash flow it needs to make payroll, hire new talent, or purchase equipment faster than ever. Best of all, funds come directly from your unpaid invoices, so there's absolutely nothing to pay back. And if your clients don't pay, AmeriFactors is your defensive line taking the hit. With over 29 years of successfully funding businesses, you know AmeriFactors is a name you can trust to score big and score fast. 800-890-6380. 800-890-6380. 800 That's 800-890-6380. If you're 85 or younger, would you like peace of mind and comfort for your family? We're Final Expense Direct with an urgent message for you. The average funeral today costs over $8,000, but the most you'll get from government benefits is $255. How will your family pay the difference? We can help. Our senior plans start as low as just a day and pay up to $30,000 for a funeral and other final expenses. Peace of mind is easy. There's no medical exam. You'll have lifetime coverage, and your plan can't be canceled as long as you pay your premium.
Call now for free information about our senior plans. Answer a few simple questions and receive approval right on the phone. Plus, call right now and we'll give you a discount prescription card for free. Call 800-569-3414. That's 800-569-3414. Again, 800-569-3414. You love your car and so does Car Checks. We're A-plus rated by the Better Business Bureau and have been helping people avoid spending a fortune in costly car repair bills for almost 20 years. For about $2.5 a day, you get the peace of mind in knowing that your expensive repair bills may be covered by a vehicle protection plan. Think about if your air conditioner or the transmission goes out. That could cost you a few thousand dollars. Or you can get protected with car checks and pay only a standard deductible. For about half dollars a day, you can make sure you don't get stuck with the bill for covered repairs. Keep your car in tip-top shape. For a completely free quote, call Car Checks now at 800-958-5207. 800-958-5207. That's 800-958-5207. Or visit GetProtected.com. That's GetProtected.com. This is Biz Talk Radio, America's home for business talk. Online at biztalkradio.com. Welcome back to the Garden America Radio Show with Brian, John, and Tiger. The phone lines are open right now at 855-424-9825. That's 855-424-9825. Or john at gardenamerica.com. And we do appreciate you... uh... Hanging in there during the break. We are back. Award-winning commercials here at BizTalk Radio. Okay, Garden America, Brian Main, John Bagnasco, uh, Tiger Palafox on your Saturday. Thank you so much for joining us. And again, that's 855-424-9825, john at gardenamerica.com. Facebook Live, we've got a guest standing by Tiger. Let's set this up and go to our surprise guest. I feel like the old game show, which was before all of our time, What's My Line? And they would bring out a, a surprise, <laughs> surprise guest. Surprise one. And we'd have to, people would have to guess who it is. I wish that was before my time. Oh, <laughs> I was trying to give you a break, John. I might have been a contestant. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they had on there one time, and this was 1955? Yep. Quick story. They I, had this I, old guy on. From the Civil War. And they had to guess w- what his whole thing was. He was in the Ford's Theater when Lincoln got shot. Whoa. He was five years old. Yeah. So wow. this is in 1955, so that's 90 years, right, John? Yeah. Give or Jeez. take. Yeah. I thought, man, that's amazing, even in 1955. Yeah. So anyway, that said, though, somebody who wasn't there yeah. in 1865, For, our next guest. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> where he was in 1865. You know, he'll be able to tell us now when he's on, on the show. But we have, we have a special guest that... John and him have worked together together feverishly for what what did it take you guys a year? No, I think it was only to write the book. To write the book. I think about 6 months. 6 months. Yeah. They worked feverishly on a book, Success with Succulents. I literally succulents. worked feverishly cuz I had skull fracture. During yeah, that time. exactly. Exactly. So reading the reading the John reading the book is all brand new to him. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even remember he wrote it. Uh, but Bob Reed, Bob Reed Mueller is joining us, and he's been on the show a number of times. Always a a great guest, always a great co-host that we throw in as well. Good morning, Bob. How you doing? Well, I'm doing fine. I I didn't know I was going to have to do what's my line, and you didn't make a board where I have to sign my name on. You know? <laughs> See, that's exactly right. You're old enough to remember that show. No way. Reruns yeah. or something somewhere. It's, you can go to YouTube. No, They're all on no, YouTube. No. That was on in the fifties. <laughs> it sure was. Hey, so Bob, how is it doing the uh, radio show from the comfort of your own home in pajamas, sipping on coffee on your porch, uh, rather than well, I, coming in studio? Say, yeah, I was going to say to uh, set something straight from Brian's uh, first comment. Um, I'm not loaded. I'm drinking coffee. <laughs> oh, so he is listening uh, to the show. Uh, yeah, and I, I actually, uh, I'm actually sitting in a parking lot, uh, doing it. I'm not sitting in the comfort of my home, so I oh. don't have my pajamas on. Yeah, but oh. you know, sitting in a parking lot in a car all by yourself is a little strange, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> you know that, right? I know. <laughs> I, a quick question. What, what is the local station here? Uh, AM 1240. Okay, that's what I thought. I can't get it over here. You should get it. It's got a decent signal. You might be in one of those pockets, as we say, where the uh, signal goes out. But it's AM twelve forty. So keep searching after the interview. Um, Escondido is just one big pocket. You know. (laughs) (laughs) Well, hey, Bob. Morning. We appreciate your time. 
We have to yeah, go. We great. have to go, yeah. Bob. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's been wonderful. <laughs> You know, I've read I've read okay. every book that Bob has ever written. <laughs> <laughs> Let's yeah. see, one, one. You can stop there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But uh, they always th- say there's another one in the works. You know, but who knows? Well, we should let our listeners know that the name of the book is Success with Succulents. Yeah. Success yeah. with Succulents. Success is, with Succulents. It's, it's, it's a, a great, great book. Yeah, and a great uh, Christmas gift idea. You can go on to Amazon.com and get it right now, right? Yeah. One of the the most interesting comments I think I saw from uh, the, um, uh, what you call it, reviews and other people I've talked to, uh, it was meant to be, you know, a a helpful book to people that uh, do grow succulents too and and have questions and problems. Um, But a lot of the comments say that it makes a great coffee table book, that they just like it got good uh, photography and just interesting and it's nice to just have around yeah if you're so following us cool. on facebook right now bob well you're not because you're in the car but uh tiger put the book up and i the guess is there, is there a link of, that's the cover of the book right there no brian's got to put a link up okay yeah but um so yeah. you see the see the book success with succulents but you know and, 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 real quick is that you know on a great topic is that um you know, if you're interested in succulents at all, it's a great book because there's a lot of great tips that people don't always consider um, when it comes to growing succulents. People people have this general concept of succulents being like, oh, they're 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 cacti, they're they don't need any water, right. um, got you know, thorns. They, they 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 live in the full sun in the desert kind of a thing, and that's not the case, you know for every one of them, um, you know. And then, but then at the same time, you guys take that concept and you make it easy for people to understand and be able to be successful with in their own gardens but then you guys also introduce that hey there's texture there's color there's flowers there's there's all these other parts of succulents that people don't ever even consider because they're so used to just a simple you know the The, way that i see arizona is it the saguaro uh yeah that's what people think of but it's like the normal i think vision for succulents is people is kind of like what brian mentioned you either have a pot with one plant in it and that's it or a landscape that has decomposed granite and then four or five plants just sticking out of it right it looks yeah it looks like a, like a trailer park or something yeah. yeah and in your guys's book the pictures the imagery they show way more than that and and like you know going into this idea that that it's also a good coffee table book because as you're just cruising through it inspiration ideas and just new things that people would never really see before well, I think Bob, one of the one of the goals that you and I had in writing the book was to make it so that it wasn't only for professionals, but even if you were just interested in just starting with mm-hmm. succulents, there was uh, it was easy enough for you to follow, but still a little bit more thorough information for somebody who is maybe a little more advanced in growing succulents. Yeah, you know, and and just to um, I want to qualify something our. Uh... Uh, star rating on Amazon is just shy of uh, five stars. Nice. And and I I just need to vocalize why it's not five stars. <laughs> Go ahead. When John and I were writing the book, is the uh, editor wanted us to say cactuses instead of cacti. Oh. Uh. I don't, I don't know why, <laughs> but so I, we went back. We changed everything to cactuses. And cactuses and is, is acceptable now. Right. Uh, it is acceptable, but it's, but not, it's the not the traditional common. plural. The traditional plural cacti. was cacti, right? Yeah, yeah, and it's and cacti is a whole lot easier to say too. Cactuses can get in the way of your tongue and your yeah. teeth and everything else. That's right, reminds me of um, Lexuses. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. And so somebody wrote a review that was basically pretty nice but then they said i don't understand why they use cactuses instead of cacti and they gave us three stars right (laughs) and then the other one was just what you were talking about you know john that uh it was meant for people that are beginners and for people that are maybe a little bit more advanced and uh the other person wrote and i forget how many stars she gave us uh was that it uh was not in depth enough for her yeah 
Well, well, well just know, there's sorry. always going to be critics. There's always going <laughs> to be know. critics, and that could there. either be somebody who I is know. who is yeah. a beginner or somebody who's really knowledgeable. Yeah. It could go either way. I'm a beginner. You didn't give me enough information, or I'm really good at this, and you didn't go far enough. Well, well in our next exactly book, what so. we're going to do is is we're going to put in a little note that says, if there's something you couldn't find in this book, here's Bob Reed Miller's cell phone number. <laughs> Give him a call. Hey, Bob, as you well know, we got to take a break and pay some Sometimes bills. Sometimes business owners and entrepreneurs don't yep. follow a traditional schedule. Well, that's where Biz TV's Biz Club can work for you on your time. For only $5.95 a month, you can have over 200 hours of our fresh, original content on demand, anywhere, anytime. And with our search feature. You can quickly and easily find the topic or show you're looking for in seconds. Sign up today and see what you've been missing for, for seven days. Join the Biz Club. It's Biz TV on your time. Now you can fly anywhere in the world and pay discount prices on your airline tickets. Book a flight today to London, Paris, Madrid, or anywhere else you want to go and pay a lot less guaranteed. Call the International Travel Department right now at low-cost airlines. 800-217-5107. 800-217-5107. That's 800-217-5107. You like business content. I mean, if you didn't like business content, you wouldn't be listening to this show, right? What if I can give you even more of what you like? Now, we've never met, but I'm willing to bet you are very busy. Between your work, family, and outside commitments, this little car ride is your time to catch up on your favorite show. But do you always get to tune in? Exactly. Well, now there's a business club with you in mind. BizVod is the place for business videos on demand. We have partnered with this show to provide you more of the content you like. The best part? It's all on demand. That means you can log in any time from any device and watch shows that answer all of your business questions. For a limited time, you can try it for free for 30 days. Simply go to bizvod.com and enter promo code radio. That's B I Z V O D dot com, promo code radio. As a small business owner, there's one word that you absolutely dread payroll. For small businesses, it's a big burden. You may think you're saving time and money doing it yourself, but come on, are you? Timesheets, processing checks, calculating taxes, a total waste of your time. Paychecks simplifies payroll processing, saving you time and money. Submit your payroll online, fax it in, or call your dedicated Paychex payroll specialist. And you're done. Learn more at trypaychex.com. Come on, do the math. The IRS dishes out 8 million penalties a year. Make one mistake, and you're on the hook. On average, you're losing nearly one business day every month doing payroll. That's time and money you'll never get back, unless you get Paychex. More than half a million small businesses already do. Call 877-649-5324. Trade payroll pressure for peace of mind. Call now. 877-649-5324. That's 877-649-5324. It may have been a messy divorce that suddenly cut your income in half, but not your bills. It might have been an injury or illness or your boss just cutting back your hours. It doesn't really matter how you got in over your head. It only matters that you are and that we're here to help. If you've got over $10,000 in credit card debt and you can't ever see breaking free, then call Action Debt and do it now. Being in over your head is a vicious cycle. One day late, they charge you a late fee miss a payment they double your rate you just don't think it's fair and neither do we this is not bankruptcy or just a simple rate reduction plan we fight for you using our proven experience in the insider programs that credit card companies try to hide if you owe at least ten thousand dollars to the credit card companies you owe it to yourself to call action debt at 800-384-7099 just because you got in over your head doesn't mean you have to stay there forever call for 7099 today and we can be on your side tomorrow 800-384-7099. 800-384-7099. This is an urgent health notice for all residents suffering from back, neck, knee, and wrist pain. You may qualify for a pain-relieving brace at little or no cost to you, but the deadline is fast approaching. Simply call the Health Alert Hotline now. You heard right. You may qualify for a pain-relieving back, neck, knee, or wrist brace. These items may even be covered by... 
Medicare or your private insurance. The Health Alert Hotline is your brace company. These specialized braces have been tested for pain relief. Call us toll free right now to determine your eligibility and to learn how to use your private insurance or Medicare to minimize your out of pocket cost. Don't wait. If the deadline passes, you may lose your opportunity to get a pain relieving back, neck, knee, or wrist brace at little or no cost to you. 800 306 1760. 800 306 1760. 800-306-1760. That's 800-306-1760. This is Biz Talk Radio, America's home for business talk. Online at biztalkradio.com. Welcome back to the Garden America Radio Show with Brian, John, and Tiger. The phone lines are open right now at 855-424-9825. That's 855-424-9825. Or john at gardenamerica.com. Exactly right here on BizTalk Radio, those in San Diego listening on AM 1240. As we continue, Facebook up and running. So far, all is good. Questions, comments, you can post them on Facebook, john at gardenamerica.com. Also, uh, the phone, 855-424-9825. Bob Reedmiller on the other end of the phone today, Tiger. Yeah. Uh, talking. Somebody asked me this one time, this question. So, John, Bob, Tiger, you can answer it. It's a very simple question. I'm sure you know the answer. The question was, is every succulent a cactus, and is every cactus a succulent? One yep. of those is correct and one isn't. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. You had a 50-50 shot at it, Brian. <laughs> okay. And, and what should I tell this person? If every cactus is a succulent. Okay. Yep. All cactus are succulents, but not all succulents are cactus. I think it was a loaded question, but I thought it was a good question. Yeah. So that, yeah. Is, that is right. Uh, I'm, yeah. sure, I'm sure a lot of people had no idea. So there you go. Every cactus is a succulent. Not every succulent is a cactus. Right. And now, there you go. And one thing I I meant to do before um, the first break was, I mean, I think our listeners know who Bob is. For those of you that have been listening for a while, you, you know he's been on the show before. You know kind of his story. And, and obviously, we know who John is in their background. But, you know, to, to validify, to give credit to this book, you know, Bob, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but, you know, you, you've worked for one of the largest succulent growers in the nation right and in the world, in the, in the world. yeah I, was, I, I didn't want to go that far but yeah. I mean, it's in the world and in the and known not, universe if you and, really want to and expand. not only does he work for this company that you know works with all of these succulents you know in the world but he he writes the information about these succulents when new varietals come out bob is the one that creates the descriptions gives the right. gives the information corrects the nomenclature the names on it nomenclature look Isn't, at you yeah. <laughs> are we gonna talk, i shocked myself are okay? we gonna talk about the myself. dewey decimal system next <laughs> you know but there's, there's a there's a 50 cent word if i ever heard one <laughs> but i mean you know when when it comes to writing a succulent book between john and bob i mean you're not going to get better information and more up-to-date data when it comes to how to grow things or what the correct varietal or what the correct growing way techniques and stuff is for these plants. So, um, you know, just to give a little bit of back story for, you know, the, the two men that wrote the book, but, um, you know, it's a, not just a pretty book. It's, it's got a lot of good stuff in but it. But the guys so. that wrote it are pretty. Yeah, they are. So there you oh, go. Gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, we got a picture of Bob on our Very Facebook. Nice. <laughs> if you're on Facebook, you got a nice picture of Bob up yeah, there right up now. There in the corner. Yeah, I, like we always said, I got the perfect face for radio, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so six months to write that book, you guys, that doesn't seem like a whole long time to me. You... I think that was about right, yeah. wasn't it, Bob, about six months? Yeah, yeah, it was about six months, and it, it was um, it was pressured a little bit. You know, every now and then I get a, an email from uh, from the editor or whatever and said, uh, we need to, you know, such and such by tomorrow. And it was like, oh, crap, you know. Um and it was only either half done or not even started. And uh, so when you whip it out and get it all done, and there you go. That's and John what... said it was funny. Go ahead. He said uh, one of his one of his goals in writing this book was to make it uh, accessible and and good for people that uh, needed to know about succulents and whatever. And one of my goals was to write it with somebody who was conscious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh... Uh, well, yeah, you know, so, um, you, you, full disclosure that this book book would not exist if it wasn't for your efforts, Bob. Well, thank you. And I, you know, 
humble as I might be, I have to agree with you. <laughs> because there was, there was a, quite a fair stretch there where you were sort of non compass so. Yeah. Yeah, hey, well, we signed, uh, the, we signed the contract, went to start the writing, and I immediately fractured my skull. <laughs> cracked his skull, and I didn't hear from him for two months. So it was like, what but in my, defense, were, I, in yeah. my defense, I eventually did get all my part of the book. But if you read the book very carefully, you'll know which chapters John had a lot to do with <laughs> based on cracking his head. <laughs> hey, so yeah, Bob. When you, get to the part where, when you get to the part where it says, use well-draining soil, use well-draining soil, use well-draining <laughs> soil, you know, okay, you got stuck. Yeah. <laughs> hey, so Bob, this is your first book, so I'll start with you. What is... Yeah, uh, you know, and this is a loaded question, but what is your favorite book? When you look back at it and you go through sections of it. Yeah, what do you what, like? What is your favorite part of the book? Um boy, that that's that's almost like picking your favorite kid. It is, uh, but I know mine, so Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't have any, so that's gonna make it even <laughs> tougher. Um you know, I, I think the the hundred um individual plants in the back mm -hmm. is a really nice section because yeah. it, uh, it gives lots of good pictures, um, individual descriptions and care for each of the varieties. And we kind of went um, a little bit off the line from what most people would do. Um, a lot of times you get a book that is strictly rare and bizarre and unusual plants. Yeah. And then you get another one that is the same old stuff that yeah. you see all the time. Green aeolian. And we did, <laughs> Jade we did both. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Jades and, and you know, aloe vera and whatever. And and we did both. Um, we covered the the normal pedestrian stuff and added a lot of weird stuff that people maybe will not even ever be able to get. Um, but nice to know that they're out there and to see what the differences are. Yeah. So, uh, it makes it a little bit for everybody, you know. And John, what would be your that was favorite? My, that was, that was my, yours also, right? Oh wow, right? Because you know, if you are starting to collect succulents, the you want to know how to take care of your particular plant. Mm -hmm. So by putting in a hundred of the succulents, you're most likely to find out uh, or to be able to acquire. You can find out information about each one. My favorite part was the index. I thought you guys did a great job on that. <laughs> <laughs> well, the cover was nice, too. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Yeah. Nice you what know, about, Bob, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, I was going to mention, um, uh, Bob, uh, that Home Depot contacted us last week and uh, wants to interview us for a right. blog this coming week, right? Yeah, yeah. And I still need to get back to you as to when we'll do that, but I, I will we'll be in touch. Yeah, that'll be uh, really interesting. Um, in a couple of ways, I mean, um, like Tiger said, we are one of the largest succulent producers in the world, uh, but we are the largest producer in the country. Mm -hmm. um, and Home Depot is actually our largest customer. Ah. We, we ship succulents to Home Depots all across the country. So uh, whether it's Home Depot in Nebraska or Home Depot in downtown San Diego, they have our plants in there. So, um, yeah, it'll, it'll be uh, an interesting thing to see what uh, what she wants from us and what we can put out there. Hey, what, uh, you what know, a, Tiger, oh, go ahead. I was just going to ask quickly, um, what, what kind of tips do you have for people who grow cactus and succulent out, outdoors this time of year? Uh, do they require any well, special care? Because I know if you, especially if they're in containers, watering them, during the summer when it's really hot and they're drying out, do you continue that in the winter? And then what about the ones in the ground? Well, uh, how many hours you got? Um, if, if they're in containers, um, obviously, um, especially for our area, because this is quote unquote, the rainy season and we did finally get some, which mm -hmm. is nice. Um, but you should hold off on the water in the winter time. So with the succulents and containers and whatever, if you can move them in under the eaves or something, um, that's great so that they don't get overwatered. You know, leave them out for an hour or two if you want, if you're willing to go out and face the elements. Mm -hmm. uh, let them get a good drink of nice fresh water, but then pull them out of the, uh, the deluge. Um, and I remember with uh, being on there with Sharon one time, and I told her, you know, if, uh, if you've got plants outside, you can't get to them, they're in, and you've had you know, three days of rain or something. When the rain stops, um, go out and just tip the pots over. Lay them on their side. 
um, because it'll help get all of that extra water out of the soil and dry out faster. Uh Um, If they're in the ground, you pretty much don't have to work as far as rain goes because there's so much soil volume uh, in the ground that a lot of it wicks away and and it shouldn't really be a problem. Where you will have a problem is if you've got frost. Uh, We've been really blessed this year. We haven't had a single frost that I know of yet. Famous last words. (laughs) Um, Here we go next week, Bob. Way to go. Yeah. Way to blow for everybody in Southern California, Bob. (laughs) Did you wash your car this uh, week, too? (laughs) Yeah, really. (laughs) So... um, so that's one thing. Uh, if you again, if they're in containers, move them someplace where you can get them out of uh, the cold, up against the house, under the eaves. And that'll keep some of the the frost off. Um, in the ground, if you have particularly frost sensitive plants, it's going to be a little bit more of a job. Um, and hopefully, uh, you've had some time to let the ground dry out a bit. Uh, and after that happens, if you can cover them up with oh salt hay or salt straw or whatever something like that put a good foot two foot layer on them hey we're gonna take a Um, commercial break bob but we do have a question for when you come back so uh after we get back we'll ask uh you rick's question okay and again the facebook facebook live going strong questions comments we react to those almost immediately also john at gardenamerica.com the phone toll free it's 855-424-9825 i'm brian main target palafox John Bagnasco on the phone with our special guest and good friend Bob Breedmiller taking a break, coming back after this. Having bug problems this season? Need an overall solution? Try Natural Guard Spinosad Soap. This combination of spinosad and fatty acids kills aphids, mealybugs, worms, caterpillars, and other bugs that plague your garden. It's also safe to use around your fruit and veggies to make sure you enjoy your and not those pesky. Find Natural Guard Spinosad Soap in a ready-to-use bottle or ready-to-spray for those large garden plots at your favorite independent garden center. Go to Fertilome.com for more information. Want a better-looking lawn with less effort? Husqvarna's robotic automower is the effortless way to mow. Husqvarna's intelligent design allows the automower to maneuver around your lawn without supervision, even over tricky terrain and around obstacles. It knows when it needs to be charged and directs itself back to the charging dock. With convenient control options, the Husqvarna allows you to set it and forget it, even from your smartphone. Thanks to Husqvarna, you can have a great looking lawn and more time to enjoy it this season. Visit Mission Hills Nursery at 1525 Fort Stockton Drive in San Diego or go to missionhillsnursery.com for more info. I live alone and rarely have visitors. So when I slipped and fell in the kitchen last month and couldn't get to a phone, I knew I was in trouble. Help! I could barely move. Help! I tried calling for help, but no one could hear me. As I lay there, I couldn't help but think of my kids grandkids having to go on without me. I was terrified. It took eight hours for my neighbor to find me. It could have been the end of me. That's when I knew I needed Life Alert. With just one press of this button, I'm connected to the Life Alert Center, where I can get the help I need, even when I cannot reach a phone. With Life Alert, I'm never alone. Call 1-800-414-1958 for your free Life Alert brochure. That's 1-800-414-1958. 1-800-414-1958. Call for your free Life Alert brochure today at 1-800-414-1958. Attention business owners and independent contractors. This is a money-saving message from Tax Mediation Services. If your business owes $20,000 or more in taxes, we can help you today, right now. Listen, dealing with the IRS is no picnic. It's an intimidating and extremely stressful process, and you don't want to go it alone. Our attorneys know every law, every tax break, and every possible opportunity to help you resolve and reduce your tax debt. And if you owe more than $20,000, you may be at the top of their hit list. So don't take your tax debt lightly because it will not go away on its own. The IRS can seize your bank accounts, your home, and even shut down your business. Call our tax experts today at 1-800-285-4765 and let us deal with the IRS while you focus on your business. That's 1-800-285-4765. Again, 800-285-4765. 
Do you have Medicare and do you use a CPAP machine? This is a national health care alert regarding your CPAP supplies. Using a clean CPAP mask and clean supplies is important to staying healthy. The best way to make sure your CPAP equipment is clean is to get new supplies. If you have Medicare, we have great news. Medicare will pay for you to have new clean supplies every 90 days. We'll even do all the paperwork for you to make sure that there's little to no out-of-pocket cost to you. And you don't even have to leave your home. We provide free in-home delivery. So if you're a CPAP user and you have Medicare, staying healthy with new CPAP equipment is easy. Just make this free phone call right now to get started. Call the CPAP hotline now. 800-525-8891. 800-525-8891. That's 800-525-8891. Copays and deductibles. Supplies are replaced in accordance with Medicare guidelines. Does your water stain and damage your fixtures? Does it smell or taste bad? Are you worried about what's in your water? Water quality should not be painful and worrisome. Get HydroCare Water Systems from Wave Home Solutions with the most advanced purification technologies. Call Wave Home Solutions today at 1-888-989-WAVE or go to greathealthywater.com. HydroCare will eliminate lime scale that causes hundreds of dollars in damage to pipe appliances without using salt well water will no longer smell or stain your fixtures city water will be purified of harmful chlorine lead arsenic and chemicals wave home solutions provides the cleanest healthiest water at every faucet satisfaction guaranteed for more information call 1-888-989-WAVE 1-888-989-WAVE or go to greathealthywater.com that's greathealthywater.com This is Biz Talk Radio, America's home for business talk. Online at biztalkradio.com. Welcome back to the Garden America Radio Show with Brian, John, and Tiger. The phone lines are open right now at 855-424-9825. That's 855-424-9825. Or john at gardenamerica.com. And we are back. We have uh, one more segment, hour number one here, 51 minutes after the hour. We continue our conversation. Facebook Live up going strong, 855-424-9825. Also, John at GardenAmerica.com as we continue with uh, with Bob Reedmiller, Tiger. Yeah, so, Bob, we had a couple of questions that came across on Facebook uh, recently. Sure. And the first one, we'll start with Rick, and follows up what you were just describing with water and succulents is, do you know of any varieties that tolerate freezing weather? Oh yeah, there's there's actually a, a fair amount, um, although they, it tends to be a little bit limited in the uh, in the scope compared to how many varieties are out there. But uh, but certainly agaves, um, a lot of the aloes, um, a lot of cactus, particularly opuntias and some of the barrel cactus. Now I think um, that Rick is talking about Oregon freezing freezing weather. Oregon, yeah. well up there, no. Um, again. Um, Agaves, opuntias. His best bet is to check with a um, local extension up there mm -hmm. and find out what are the more native types. Um, it's it's difficult. There's so many succulents nowadays that are bred to be pretty. Yeah. Um, but they're they're all based on kind of a tropical background, um, and so a lot of those don't hold up as well. Um, and, but, okay. Yeah, he, he should be able to find plenty of stuff that uh, that'll grow. There's there's opuntias that grow from Canada all the way down to Mexico. Right. I remember so, um, it uh, when I was going to Michigan State uh, in East Lansing, they had some cactus actually in the gardens that overwintered, and I believe they. Yeah, were and types I, I ran into a few. As, yeah, as a kid, I ran into a few that were in New Jersey, and I I couldn't quite you know, get my head around it at that time, but. Yeah. Uh, that really yeah, they, smarts when you run place. into them, I'll tell you that. You know, Tiger, you and I, native <laughs> San Diegans, we're not surprised by any of this. I think yeah. this is all just natural because exactly. things yeah. just grow all year. and right. not, I'm not surprised by anything that grows here in this climate, really. <laughs> you know, there is a book out yeah, there we're... called Cold Hardy Succulents. That, Rick, that would you could get it on Amazon, just type in Cold Hardy Succulents, and it gives you an idea of uh, some of the things that you can put in really cold areas. And Bob says there's some some agaves that are actually pretty cold yeah. hardy too. Hey, and then we have yeah. another question from Mona, and she asks, "Do you know any ways to prevent 
or treat allomites? No, um, it's an ongoing study. Um, in fact, on the, the property of uh, Altman plants where I work, uh, we do have a research facility through the um, University of Riverside. And, uh, and it's a, an organization that's opened up to all of the universities across the country. And we do different studies and tests there and whatever. And alamite is just a nasty bugger. Um, the, hey, real, the real, best thing you can... Hey, Bob, real quick, just to clarify, though, though, the alamites are not are not like a standard mite. And that's why there's a problem, because people hear about us treating spider mites and mites for plants pretty easily, normally. Right. But this is not yeah, something these... like alomites. You can't just use a normal miticide spray, right? No. Yeah, yeah. that's the problem. They, they get into the tissue and they, they cause what's uh, colloquially called uh, allo cancer. Mm -hmm. And it, it just becomes this gnarled mass of ugliness that grows on the clothes. And the mites are all embedded down inside. And so that's what the tests have been. They're trying to find something that will systemically go in and, and take care of them or whatever. And so far, not much has come up. Yeah. Um, and if you have it, what you need to do is get that plant out. Ah. Um, dig it out, bag it up, put it in the garbage. Because um, it will, you, they'll spread sure. to other aloes on your property, correct? Right, yeah. right. And make sure that you... Uh, wash off your tools afterwards because mm. you don't want to spread it around again. Uh, Kelly Griffin, who does a lot of the hybridizing of aloes and, and agaves and things like that, his, uh, his standard rule is if he finds an aloe that's got uh, the aloe mite, he digs it out and he puts a, an agave in its place. <laughs> there you go. Because hey, and then he, we have, he does. He, he literally does. We have another comment from Lenore, and I – I'm not 100% understanding of this comment, but Lenore says, do you leave the foliage on it? Do you see it there, Brian? She writes, you know, some, and I think it's in sequence of the alomite that's, I think she's asking, do you leave the leaves on the plant? Yeah, I don't, I don't see it. I'm, I got to scroll up at night. I don't okay. see it. The, the leaves on, on, on which plant? Yeah, well, that's what I was trying to answer her question. I didn't quite understand. It says, um, is it okay to leave the leaves around them? But it's in following the alomite comment, so I don't know. So I would say no. It was not would not be okay to leave yeah, the if, leaves. If it's in regards to the alomite, no. Yeah. Um, the whole plant's got to go. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's unfortunate. And then there's the uh, there's also the trouble we've got with the uh, the agave weevil, which is another nasty little critter who's always and, drunk uh, by the way <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah a little yeah, that's a, that is that, a big a, problem with uh uh tequila, tequila agaves yeah. right sure yeah yeah, yeah. he uh he, he's a problem but he's always happy so <laughs> but yeah they they get into the center and they they just bore out and eat out the whole core of the plant and it just collapses and dies oh, and uh and they're hard to get rid of as well uh you need to dig out the whole plant and then kind of some people actually go through the trouble of sifting through all the soil for Jeez. quite an area around the plant and pulling out any uh, pupas or things that might have uh, stayed in the soil. Well, on that happy so, note, yeah. Bob, we're going to have to... Uh, <laughs> we're up against the clock. Yeah, we're up against yeah. the clock. Where we really appreciate you taking the time to join us. And once again, uh, the name of uh, Bob's book and my book is Success with Succulents. If you want to go to Amazon.com and pick that up. Yeah. You can do and it. And it, it wouldn't have happened, and it wouldn't have happened without John either. So uh, it was a, a great, uh, great experience, and it's a great book. So get it for people for Christmas; they'll love it. There you go. Yeah. Okay, Bob, thank you so much. All right, guys, have a great show. Bye. Take care. Now, if you can say "success with succulents" ten times real fast, you can have the book for free <laughs> without any mistakes. Yeah, right. Lenore responded back, and she said it was not in in regards to the mites. I think when you guys were discussing. Um, cold areas with succulents and he was describing how to keep the soil and stuff. Maybe she was talking about leaving the foliage around soil around the base of a succulent. I don't feel it's really good to ever leave anything around the base of a succulent. You kind of have a chance of rotting something out. Yeah. It, probably that's a, a general rule. Yeah. I would say that's probably correct. It's nice to keep it clean. Right. And um, you want, you, you want them. Depends a lot on your soil too. If it's yeah. a heavier soil, that's going to stay wet. And wouldn't you want them to dry out a little bit now yeah, and then too? Right. Yeah. Okay. Hey, they, the music means it is uh, the end of our number one. Our number two is right around the corner. As they say, six minutes after we're going to take a break. Tiger Palafox. 
Uh, more questions, comments on Facebook. Rick's been doing it. Lenore's been doing it. Again, that's Facebook Live. You can also hit us at 855-424-9825. John at GardenAmerica.com. We're going to take a break. News coming up on many of these BizTalk radio affiliates. We are back six minutes after Hour 2 of Garden America. Stay with us. Listen on the go. Download the BizTalk radio app. Available in iOS, Android, and BlackBerry. BizTalk Radio. The opinions you hear on BizTalk Radio are those of the hosts, callers, and guests, and do not necessarily reflect those of this station, BizTalk Radio, its management, or advertisers. The information on BizTalk Radio does not constitute a recommendation, offer, or solicitation to buy or sell any product or service. If you have any questions about BizTalk Radio, contact us at 817-274-1609 or at biztalkradio.com. This is BizTalk Radio, America's home for business talk. At BizTalk. For USA Radio News, I'm Rick Vincent. Brian Zinke is out as Secretary of the Interior. President Trump tweets that Zinke will be gone by the end of the year and his replacement could be announced next week. The Australian government decides to recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital, reversing a decades-old policy on the Middle East. Prime Minister Scott Morrison. Fundamentally, it's the right of every country to determine its national capital. Australian opposition leader Bill Shorten says it's a political stunt aimed to winning the by-election for a Sydney seat with a high Jewish population. What I'm worried is that Mr Morrison put his political interest ahead of our national interest. I regret that we've seen a complex debate derailed by reckless and foolish behaviour. Morrison says the Australian embassy will remain in Tel Aviv until there's a peace settlement between Israel and the Palestinians. Australia will establish a defense and trade office in Jerusalem. And you're listening to USA Radio News. Ask yourself, if you built a van for your business, where would you start? At the beginning, of course, with the people who invented the work van over 100 years ago, Mercedes-Benz. You'd give your new Mercedes-Benz Sprinter advanced technology and safety to keep you connected and protected. You'd make it available in diesel and gas, and there would be thousands of configurations and upfits to choose from. You build it right here in the USA, because your one-of-a-kind business deserves nothing less than a van that's built for you. Introducing the all-new Mercedes-Benz Sprinter, the safest, innovative Sprinter yet, starting at just 33,790. Built for you, the all-new Sprinter, built in the USA. Mercedes-Benz. Vans, born to run. MSRP excludes all options, taxes, title, registration, transportation, charge, and dealer prep fee. Options, model availability, and actual dealer price may vary. See dealer for details about costs and terms. Equipment described as optional. 2019 Mercedes-Benz printer available soon. Open enrollment for Obamacare ends at midnight in most of the country, and even though a federal judge in Texas ruled Friday that the Affordable Care Act's individual coverage mandate is unconstitutional, it remains in effect. A few states that run their own exchanges, including New York, California, and Minnesota, have deadlines as late as January 31st. Law enforcement in Woodland Park, Colorado, are still waiting to interview Patrick Frazee, whose fiance has been missing since December 2nd, Chief Miles DeYoung. We have yet to have him sit down with one of our investigators, and that's what we're asking for, is just for him to sit down with an investigator, since he was the last person to talk with Kelsey face-to-face, from what we can tell. Frazee, whose property was searched Saturday, has been speaking through his attorney. Pakistan's foreign minister says that region can only defeat terrorism if it joins hands. If they do not see peace in the region, they will take advantage of that situation and gain ground. And it is in our collective interest to defeat such organizations. This is USA Radio News. With a recession ending, if you've been putting off building your business, now is the time to act. General Steel will meet or beat any price on a pre-engineered steel building of the same size and specifications. Act now before steel prices go up. So call us today for free information. Call 800-965-1290. 800-965-1290. 800-965-1290. President Donald Trump has selected Mick Mulvaney to become the acting White House Chief of Staff. More from John Clemens. The former South Carolina congressman was selected to have the Office of Management and Budget early in the Trump administration. Now people like Carol Tobias of the National Right to Life Committee are pleased with the selection of the 15-year-old Mulvaney to serve the post in an acting capacity. He had a 100% pro-life voting record. 
He's a great guy, and I know he will do a wonderful job as chief of staff for President Trump. White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders says Mulvaney will keep his title as Office of Management and Budget Director while also serving as acting chief of staff. And Russell Vogt, Mulvaney's deputy at OMB, will take over responsibilities there. You've probably seen that video all over social media and the news about a Brooklyn woman going on a racist, profanity-laced tirade on a New York subway. 40-year-old Anna Leschenksia, who is white, began hitting a 24-year-old fellow passenger of Asian descent with her umbrella and keys after the two bumped into each other. Leschenksia has now been charged with felony assault. She's pleaded not guilty and will be in court January 22nd. Fox News reports a Catholic priest in Michigan is facing criticism after he presided over the funeral of an 18-year-old who killed himself earlier this month and told mourners at the service that the teen may be kept out of heaven due to the way he died. The parents want the priest who presided over his funeral removed after they say he disparaged and condemned their son during the service. For USA Radio News, I'm Rick Vincent. If you've got computer problems, you have big problems. Is your computer frozen? Is it loaded with viruses? How about the infamous blue screen? Or maybe it doesn't even turn on at all. You need the computer experts right now at the PC Support Hotline. Any computer, anywhere, anytime. 24 hours a day, you can call us and we'll fix it guaranteed or you pay nothing. Everything is done remotely over the phone. You don't even have to lug your computer or laptop anywhere. Just call now and one of the world's best tech support agents will dial into your computer and fix it guaranteed. Don't go through the expense of replacing your computer or the time-saving torture of replacing software or lost files. Call right now and we'll fix your computer guaranteed or you pay nothing. 800-897-1434 800-897-1434 800-897-1434 That's 800-897-1434 Welcome to the Garden America Show, the country's most listened to gardening program. This is your chance to join us as we talk about gardening, horticulture, landscaping, in fact, anything that has to do with the world of gardening. The phone lines are open right now at 1-855-424-9825. That's 1-855-424-9825 for your questions and comments. Or john at gardenamerica.com. And if you're watching us on Facebook Live, you can also post your questions and comments right here on our page during the broadcast. Now, here's Brian Maine, John Bagnasco, and Tiger Palafox on the Garden America Radio and Media Network. It's hour number two. Thank you so much. Uh, do, I do appreciate you being right there. Those of you on Facebook Live that have tuned in, uh, I think technically we're good so far. 855 424 9825. Want to give us a call? John at GardenAmerica.com, right there on Facebook Live as well. Uh, first hour's guest, uh, Bob Reedmiller, uh, great information, cactus, succulents, and of course, if you have any leftover questions, John did write half the books, so and John is still here as well. Um, now, wait, let me ask you this. We didn't touch upon this. Where did you get the pictures for the book, and who took the pictures, John? Give any credit? The photographer took the pictures. Really? <laughs> that was going to be, whoops, there goes my mic. That was going to be my second guest, yeah. or my first guest. Uh, yes, I should say. Guest is people we have on the show. You know, and you'd have to look at the book because, to be honest, I can't remember her name. Okay, Bob, I, I don't, I don't remember if I ever met her in person because, again, being out of commission during a lot of that right. time, Bob worked more directly with her than I did. Yeah, your timing was good. <laughs> I told Bob, I go that whole fall he took. Yeah, you know what? He's <laughs> he's milking this big time. Uh, um, I wanted to mention though that this time of year, if you're it depends where you are in the country, but I'll tell you, if you're in the San Diego area or Southern California with the rains we've had, it's the perfect time of the year for working out in the yard. Weeds come up real easy if you've got to pull weeds. Sure. But because I'm moving, I'm, I'm digging up a lot of things and transplanting them. And if you have to move roses this time of year, the perfect time of year, it's a great time of year for moving almost anything except tropicals. You know, you don't really want to mess with tropicals during the cold months. but everything... Because they're dormant, correct? Well, yeah, it's not only that they're dormant, but because they're sensitive to cold weather, if you damage the root system and they're, you get... They're toast. Yeah, and you get cold that goes into that and bacteria starting and root rot, it's just not good news. Now, I'm very familiar with your backyard and most of your plant material. What is the biggest plant, tree, whatever, that you have to move that you're going to take with you that's going to be a challenge? You know, I think 
There's one I'm not sure I can move. Tiger's going to help me move some of this stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But one I would uh, trachea carpus. Um, Tequil. Tequil, okay. It's a dwarf windmill palm. And the one in my yard stands about five feet tall. But it's 40 years old. I'm going to imagine very slow growing. Right? Yeah. And it's reached its height after 40 years? Oh, no. It'll keep growing, but... Slow. You know, if it's five feet in 40 years, that's yeah. not a lot. So that that is maybe the biggest plant that I would move. But I also have some Australian grass trees that I grew from seed. And they're all, they're virtually impossible to find. I don't, I don't think... Tiger, you've probably never even... Your nursery, no. I wouldn't think. Now, yeah. since we're talking real estate, John, my next question is this. Mm -hmm. you, people that you sold the house, they've agreed on the price. They're going to buy it. Right. How did you negotiate that backyard in terms of, do they know what you're taking and what's going to stay? First of all, I, I, while I was showing them around, I determined how much do you really know about plants? Yeah. And they, they're from Florida. Okay. So they are kind of used to tropical things. And they like evergreens, but I mean, they're happy with bird of paradise and sure, the typical yeah stuff like that. So I did. They said now everything's staying except the pots, right? I go, yeah, all the pots are going to be gone, and then there's some plants in the back that I want to dig up, which is where these Australian okay. grass trees are and things like that. They, they would never know that they were gone because mm -hmm. <laughs> just a whole empty area. Well, that whole there. back area is kind of you get yeah. back into no man's land. And you're like, okay, whatever, let's go back. Right. I like what's in the you front. need GPS to find the house once exactly. you're back there. Well, congratulations on this sale. That takes a little pressure off. Have they started <laughs> construction yet? No. Okay, still no, that... empty pallet still. Yep. Okay. Yeah, it's, there's a lot going on there. And the area I thought was going to be my rose garden right now may not end up being a rose garden. Because of soil? No, the soil's excellent, but uh, my wife wants some type of cash crop to help pay for water and stuff. And right now we're uh, investigating on growing coffee on the property. But the most ideal part of the property for coffee is right where the rose garden was going to be. And, and hey, you can make so money off that. Go ahead, that. Tiger. Um, let's see if we can answer a question real quick. Yes. Um, Mona had also asked, know of any good grow lights to use for indoor during the winter? Um, what do you look for to make sure it's adequate? Now, I was looking, there was a company that made a lot of good just kits, you know, residential kits for grow lights called Hydro Farm. And I was just looking at their website to give her a make and model of a kit that I suggested, but it seems like they moved more into commercial grow lights. Um, so I don't, I don't necessarily know if Hydro Farm would be the best choice for a little kit, but Mona, the one thing that you want to consider for grow lights for winterizing house plants or just bringing other plants inside um is that i i they they produce a lot of really good led lights now in the led ones give a lot of different wavelengths in light which are really good for just basic house plants you know some of the, some of the grow lights that are out there are meant for you know commercial growing you know there there's you know the different you know gas lights fluorescent lights things like that but if you're just looking for a simple house plant or indoor plant light kit um look for an led one um they're really easy to use they don't get too hot and um they produce a lot of different wavelengths for light which are important for the plants um, especially if you're keeping them indoor through the winter and you can leave them running for long periods of time without completely draining your electricity bill as well so um a name and a brand of one, but the one source that I had that I was going to suggest, I don't think produces any residential ones. They're more anymore. commercial? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You but, know, if you really want to find out about grow lights, if yeah. you go to any hydroponic store. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They'll set you up. Well, they're all set up for growing plants yeah. indoors. Yeah. Yeah. And and now it's legal to do that. Yeah, I so right. you can feel comfortable to walk right in. But and... all the cannabis growers, I mean, they, they knew everything that right. was required for lights to and... keep them healthy. So you can do the same thing. And now, like you're saying with the LED lights, there, um, our friend Steve Goto was involved in an operation where they were growing tomato crops in warehouses and they were lighting plants from the side and the top so if, if you can grow tomatoes commercially yeah. and get production out of a warehouse oh with, you'll do fine by with yourself. no lights yeah there's there's a lot of solutions up there that 
it shouldn't cost too much no and i was going to say that same thing is if you go to a hydroponic shop um they have they have nice little home kits right that you know aren't yeah. too expensive um easy to use you just plug them in and put a timer on them right. and they're good to go so it used to be though and i'm not sure uh you know because i haven't been involved with uh indoor lighting for a long time but back in michigan when we would uh set up uh lights additional lights for house plants in the winter it was always important that the light source was very close to the plant mm -hmm. you know like you couldn't put a light in the ceiling and have it uh, light up the plants below the plants wouldn't really benefit from that very much so what you would need would be to be within six to 12 inches from the top of the plant I don't know if that's still true. Oh yeah, because I can have... I can picture now the indoor hydroponic growing. Right. And the plant, uh, the lights are all grow hung down. Grow low. Yeah. Grow yeah. low, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So that would make sense. No, but uh, you know, if it is, you know, a lot of people will take a a shelf a shelf unit like one right. of those metal shelving units, stack all their houseplants on that. They'll mount a a light under that, each above, shelf. You know, if you've got you know, above them shelves. exactly, right. and you know that usually works out really well. If you do the LED ones, you don't have to worry about. Because they, they, the other ones produce a lot of heat. And if right. they are close and you're running your heater in the su in the wintertime because you want to be comfortable, you can make it too hot for your plants. Yeah. So the LED well, ones are nice. We used to use because... fluorescent tubes, which weren't that hot. They no. were cool-burning fluorescent right. tubes. We used to have to use, I think they were called full spectrum, mm -hmm. were the best. So, yeah, Mona, um, you know, check a local shop. But I, I think for your situation, probably an LED little light band would be really easy to use. And like we said, mounted on a shelf. And you know, LEDs last go. forever and they're a lot cheaper. Well, they're getting cheaper, I think Just they're more under expensive. H they're coming in the yellow pages. But, for I mean, head shop. they are, <laughs> you know, what? You, you don't even need to do that. Yeah. You're probably within five minutes of a place, well, depending like that. on where she lives. We don't know where Mona lives. That's true, <laughs> as I recall. It's in Utah, it's not I think legal. she lives in East County somewhere. Oh, oh East okay. County, they were the first ones with a go ahead there, so you should, yeah. you should be fine, Mona. In I'm regards not sure. to that. Uh, okay, Facebook Live, questions, comments, just like Mona and Rick have done. Others uh, so far, 855-424-9825 here. Biz Talk Radio, we've got a break coming up here, coming up. So, uh, hey, you know, since got a break I, coming up, coming up. How's that? Since I have to dig up a lot of my stuff uh, from my house, or I'm just leaving it there, there might be some things you want. I'm thinking of some bulbs that are going to be coming up and blooming in the spring. Tropicals. Hibiscus. Well, they kind of look, look tropical. My hibiscus are too big for you. But we'll see. Do you still have your Velthemia? Yes. Is it it should be coming up now with another bloom. It's fine. I've got I've got several blooms on it. The really? thing is though, the leaves get a little brown on the sides. What is that from? I thought Salt. it was sun, sun oh it's Salt damage. Ah, good, see? Yeah. So more rainwater then. Yep. It is break time. Coming back, John Bagnasco, Tiger Palafox, I'm Brian Main. This is Garden America coming to you live on Facebook and other means, of course. Want a better looking lawn with less effort? Husqvarna's robotic automower is the effortless way to mow. Husqvarna's intelligent design allows the automower to maneuver around your lawn without supervision, even over tricky terrain and around obstacles. It knows when it needs to be charged and directs itself back to the charging dock. With convenient control options, the Husqvarna allows you to set it and forget it, even from your smartphone. Thanks to Husqvarna, you can have a great looking lawn and more time to enjoy it this season. Visit Mission Hills Nursery at 1525 Fort Stockton Drive in San Diego or go to missionhillsnursery.com for more info. Hi, this is gardening expert Melinda Myers. Keeping the environment in mind, I recommend Melorganite slow-release nitrogen fertilizer for all your growing needs. From plants to people, active growth requires energy, nutrients, and a balanced diet. Nutrient-rich Melorganite feeds the soil and plants for up to 10 weeks. The non-burning, non-leaching formula provides a slow and consistent flow of nutrients. Trust the fertilizer proven effective for over 90 years. Melorganite for better results. Visit Melorganite.com for a garden center near you. Nobody wants to get ripped off, broken into, or robbed, but nobody wants to pay a lot of money to have their home protected either. I've got an offer to tell you about to provide home security for your home for less than a dollar a day. For real, with no installation or equipment charges. And this is from a company rated number one by a leading consumer research company. According to the facts, most of you won't even call unless there's a burglary in your neighborhood or something bad happened. So let's give you a reason. Save money. For less than a dollar a day with no other costs, you can get your home secured. Plus, get a lifetime equipment replacement warranty. 
you need protection for your home. Call the Home Security Hotline right now. 800-915-8941-800-915-8941-800-915-8941. Call right now. Operators are standing by. 800-915-8941. If you're 85 or younger, would you like peace of mind and comfort for your family? We're Final Expense Direct with an urgent message for you. The average funeral today costs over $8,000, but the most you'll get from government benefits is $255. How will your family pay the difference? We can help. Our senior plans start as low as just a dollar a day and pay up to $30,000 for a funeral and other final expenses. Peace of mind is easy. There's no medical exam. You'll have lifetime coverage, and your plan can't be canceled as long as you pay your premiums. Call now for free information about our senior plans. Answer a few simple questions and receive approval right on the phone. Plus, call right now, and we'll give you a discount prescription card for free. Call 800-569-3414. That's 800-569-3414. Again, 800-569-3414. It may have been a messy divorce that suddenly cut your income in half, but not your bills. It might have been an injury or illness or your boss just cutting back your hours. It doesn't really matter how you got in over your head. It only matters that you are and that we're here to help. If you've got over $10,000 in credit card debt, you can't ever see breaking free, then call Action Debt and do it now. Being in over your head is a vicious cycle. One day late, they charge you a late fee. Miss a payment, they double your rate. You just don't think it's fair and neither do we. This is not bankruptcy or just a simple rate reduction plan. We fight for you using our proven experience and the insider programs that credit card companies try to hide. If you owe at least $10,000 to the credit card companies, you owe it to yourself to call Action Debt at 800-384-7099. Just because you got in over your head doesn't mean you have to stay there forever. Call 800-384-7099 today and we can be on your side tomorrow. 800-384-7099. 800-384-7099. This is Biz Talk Radio, America's home for business talk. Online at biztalkradio.com. Welcome back to the Garden America Radio Show with Brian, John, and Tiger. The phone lines are open right now at 855-424-9825. That's 855-424-9825. Or john at gardenamerica.com. And we are back. It is 21 minutes after the hour. Those watching on Facebook, they'll say, hey, what, you guys never went anywhere. I was watching you during the break. For those on the radio, though, it kind of appears that we have come and go because of the commercials. Streaming live here on BizTalk Radio and, of course, uh, Facebook Live. Questions, comments, uh, give them to us because we'll answer them almost right away. Also, John at GardenAmerica.com, 855-424-9825. Some people still like the telephone. Yeah, you know, prior to the break, I was asking if your Velthemia was blooming, which is one of the South African bulbs. It's, it's a beautiful plant, John. I love it. I think it. They're, all, they're called forest lilies. And, well, the leaves are outstanding. I love the leaves. Yeah, but my leaves died during the summer completely. You said yours just turned brown. All they did, the sides just turned brown, and they're still blue, in bloom, and they're just kind of kind of crisp on the sides. Yeah. And you said that See, was... mine's come up with new leaves right now, and it's putting out flower spikes. Well, you told me there was one. So yours should be. When you first gave it to me, you said there was one leaf, and you said there's going to be another spike on one side of the pot. Which... No, no, no. That was the canna. Oh, the canna I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so you're not talking about Velthemia I've, I've, at all. I've been talking about the wrong plant the whole time. The Velthemia I... was the plant that sends up a flower <laughs> spike and has the pink flowers on it. Yes. That hang down. I have that still. Yes. Uh, and the begonia, uh, Griffin's okay. begonia still have as well. You remember that one? Yeah. That goes back a long time. Griffin course, begonia, yeah. That's That's to me seems like a succulent. You can just snap those branch. Uh, well, shoots. the stems are, stems. are are described the stems, as, the stems. as being succulent, but it's not a succulent right. plant. But, but, but it acts like it because you can pull those off and right away it grows back again. You can also start new plants from that easily. Just like the pothos here? Yeah, exactly. You could start them in water if you wanted. You know what? I'm going to do that. Is it poisonous? I don't know. I asked because of the cats, because I'd love to be able to do something like that. I don't that. know. You could, but there's websites you can look up, okay. Plants Poisonous to Cats, and you'll get a whole list of things. Right. One of the things that this time of year, since we're, we're talking about it, is uh, one of the fables out there was that 
poinsettias were poisonous, and they're not. It's at not all. true, people. They're not poisonous. Right. You don't have to worry about. John puts it in a shake I, every morning. No. I, you know, <laughs> I you just do that. mentioned the poisonous thing to cats, and you've had cats, and obviously it's yes. a concern to you. And I've I've heard that before, but I I want to know. I want to vet if there's any veterinarians listening. I mean, how many times do they have? incidents where animals have came in emergency because of eating a poisonous plant like i don't know i kind of feel to a, that they a, know better well <laughs> to some extent you know yeah. animals are more intuitive than people and you know when there's poisonous things you know don't get me wrong they might try it you know they might i'm not saying that there's no cats out there that's not going to nibble on something but are they going to really eat the whole thing down where they're going to get sick i have an incident close to that several years ago i had florist roses Uh that i put on the counter and my cat bandit my original cat went up and chewed on some of the leaves okay he got sick and threw up because don't don't they roses aren't no but i think the florist roses don't they treat them oh maybe they could have been with something and i think that's what we we figured out but but he chews on plastic plants out of my aquarium when i'm changing the water But I think you're right. How many would actually chew and swallow and think, oh, this tastes good? Yeah, and and get to the point where, like, they are going to need medical attention. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, I've eaten stuff myself where I've like, oh, that wasn't a good thing to eat, and you end up with a stomach ache and, you know. Because you're out and about doing doing landscape, and you find something and go, (laughs) never seen this. I wonder what it tastes like. Never seen this before. I'm going to eat this. (laughs) You know, while you guys are on the subject, I was just thinking of Amy Stewart's book. Oh, yeah. Oh, the Which dangers, is, the poisonous plants one? It's called Wicked Plants. Yeah. The weed that killed Lincoln's mother and other botanical atrocities. Isn't there a, a, a places in England where it's nothing but poisonous plants? There's a garden. Garden? There's a garden in one of the castle gardens. Yeah, that it's is, up at Annick Castle. We yeah. went to that, visited that it's garden. nothing but poisonous plants, right? And Yeah, and there's a gate. The whole thing, of course, is fenced in. Probably a skeleton on the gate or something. There's a skeleton, skull and crossbones on the gate as you enter, and everything in there is poisonous. But in the case of Lincoln's mother, uh, she died from drinking milk from a cow who had eaten a poisonous plant. Wow. Right, right. Yeah. Hey, you know, isn't it amazing right. with everything we eat in all the restaurants we go to? Oh, yeah. That there's not more incidents? We're a real trusting culture. Whoa. Yeah. I mean, you have to be, but when you think yeah. about all the possibilities. Oh, definitely. Hey, Rick wanted to know, John, when you will be posting the varieties of tomatoes for next year. You have some of them up already, uh, if I remember all correctly. The, all the tomatoes are up right now on okay. our website. Except, GardenAmerica.com. Right, except the new ones. Okay. And the new ones I, sh- I hope to get posted next week. Okay. There's some All-American uh, selections. Mm-hmm that I think we're going to be able to offer is grafted plants also, and I'm still looking at that. So as far as the grafted tomatoes go, I think, and we've been getting orders already. Oh, great. Yeah. But the, uh, I think there's maybe at the most another six that are going to be added. So if you want to wait, you know, before you order. You so GardenAmerica.com, we have the HB 101, as we talked about earlier. Right. Yeah. And continue those orders and what John just talked about with the older tomatoes. Yeah, you know, another mm-hmm. gift idea that I think we can get out you know, Bob uh, Mayer would be the one who sends out these plants or these uh, items. But some other great gift ideas for this time of year are the garden gators, oh, which yeah. are the long handled, long handled, long sleeved yeah. uh, gloves for pruning roses. Right. And, and you could also use it, I guess, for getting in with cactus and succulents. And you know that we're kind of prickly. Bo- bougainvilleas. Yeah. Um, Stuff like you that. You know, there's a wide variety of plants that you don't even right. think about that you would you'd love to use those long armed or long sleeved gators for and they also have leg protection oh that you can use and none of it's very expensive i think i need a bulletproof shield around my my torso because two, two weeks ago i think i, did I tell you this story so you know how hard it is tiger to negotiate around my plants cause yeah okay so i have a lot of roses in and amongst all those plants oh, you saw got you and i've got a couple with huge stalks and thorns so it's it's common i'll get bit now and then but i tried to go you know past one the other day and it, it catch on your clothes it caught on my clothes and actually caught on the low, my lower back uh, and i couldn't move and i had to lift my shirt up and my wife had to come out and actually pull it out of my back the thorn i mean it's yeah. stuck in there so oh, yeah. just be careful out there when you're dealing with roses and, <laughs> and it goes with what we're talking about with the long sleeves yeah uh, for your arms exactly maybe you do need a chest you protector know, like me there are a lot of dangers in gardening that you just don't think of. Yeah. You know, I have a, a 
friend of ours uh, who was a noted rose, Rosarian and rose grower. You say was. It's going to be a sad story? Well, he, no, he's still alive, but okay. he, there's always, uh, remember the old little Abner cartoons? Yes, I do. Daisy Duke, et cetera. And the uh, Joe Blitzelflick or whatever his name was that always walked around with the black cloud over his head. Mm-hmm. That uh, kind of reminds me of this person. Always something happening. There's to always him. something happening. But anyway, he wanted to move a rose, and it was a large rose. So he had to dig around a huge trench around the rose, and he went down like four feet. That's pretty far. Yeah, it was, and he. <laughs> so it's all this trench all around this rose, down, down about four feet, and then he was digging and slipped down into the hole and impaled himself onto the rose bush and oh he didn't gosh. want to move because there was these huge thorns uh all up his leg and side and didn't want to rip the flesh and we're going to come back and hear the rest of that story we will so stay with us that's a great tease going into the break facebook questions right there on facebook of course john at gardenamerica.com 855-424-9825 as we continue it is garden america for your saturday morning or saturday afternoon depending upon where you're listening or watching we're coming right back biz talk radio is now just add the biz talk radio skills then ask alexa for the latest business news you'll instantly get live relevant information from the best business source biz talk radio alexa open biz talk market tips hey this is ellen degeneres we all have a vital role to play in helping california communities firefighters and first responders battling wildfires throughout the state in this time of crisis the entertainment community unites in support of those keeping us safe Join us at musicforrelief.org slash fire and give to provide firefighters with the critical equipment they need to protect our neighborhoods. That's musicforrelief.org slash fire. Thanks. Want more business content? You need BizVod, the place for business videos on demand. With BizVod, you can watch the business videos you want to watch when you want to watch. Search for topics that interest you available on Roku and Web TV, and soon on Amazon Fire, Apple TV, iOS, and Android. With BizVod, you don't have to wait for business content. You are in control with hundreds of business shows and clips available on demand. Log on to BizVod today and use promo code RADIO for your first month free. That's right, for a limited time, your first month is free with no obligation. You can cancel any time. Membership to BizVod is only $49.95 for the year. That's less than $5 a month. Again, the promo code for your first 30 days free is RADIO. BizVod, the place for business videos on demand. Log on to BizVod.com and join today. Time changes everything. For me, becoming a single father of two young kids, it changed my ability to use my timeshare. The frustration of not being able to use it was compounded by annual maintenance fees that nearly tripled over a three-year period. I was desperate to get out. After searching online for sell my timeshare or get out of my timeshare, it just looked like one scam after another. I needed a real, permanent, and legitimate way to get out of this for good. I'm Brandon Reed, the founder of Timeshare Exit Team. We will get you out of the timeshare you can't use or can't afford anymore. We get people out safely, legally, and permanently. We are more successful because we have more solutions. Schedule a free consultation to review your ownership situation and find the best strategy for you. If we can't get you out, we will give you a full refund. Call Timeshare Exit Team today. Call 800-929-8112. That's 800-929-8112. That's 800-929-8112. Call Timeshare Exit Team today. As a small business owner, there's one word that you absolutely dread. Payroll. For small businesses, it's a big burden. You may think you're saving time and money doing it yourself. But come on, are you? Timesheets, processing checks, calculating taxes, a total waste of your time. Paychex simplifies payroll processing, saving you time and money. Submit your payroll online, fax it in, or call your dedicated Paychex payroll specialist. And you're done. Learn more.
Make one mistake and you're on the hook. On average, you're losing nearly one business day every month doing payroll. That's time and money you'll never get back, unless you get paychecks. More than half a million small businesses already do. Call 877-649-5324. Trade payroll pressure for peace of mind. Call now, 877-649-5324. That's 877-649-5324. We paid less for our Craftmatic today than we did 20 years ago. If you're still searching for perfect solutions to a good night's sleep, call now. prices and free information on today's Craftmatic adjustable beds. And then decide when you see how little they cost. Rated number one by consumers nationwide on ConsumerAffairs.com. Craftmatic beds come in all mattress types, including cool gel memory foam for up to 50% less than today's leading memory foam brand. Enjoy temporary relief of low back pain, poor circulation, nighttime heartburn, mild arthritis. You'll sleep better in a Craftmatic adjustable bed. So if you're still searching for the perfect solution to a good night's sleep, call now for prices and information. And then decide when you see how little they cost. Discover Craftmatic for less, up to 50% less than today's leading memory foam brand. Call 1-800-316-5271. That's 1-800-316-5271. 1-800-316-5271. Call now. This is Biz Talk Radio, America's home for business talk. Online at biztalkradio.com. Welcome back to the Garden America Radio Show with Brian, John, and Tiger. The phone lines are open right now at 855-424-9825. That's 855-424-9825 or john at gardenamerica.com. And we thank you for being there, whether you're listening on the radio, streaming, or, of course, uh, Facebook Live. John Begnasco, Tiger Palafox, I'm Brian Main. Now, before the break, we had a great story going. Yeah, with, with John, John and and John John said, falling into a well. No, no, it was a friend, last, friend of mine was impaled by a by a rose bush. Right, and so he didn't want to move because he didn't want to rip all his flesh, right, be bleeding all over. So he's and it also happened to be early in the morning, like around four o'clock. My gosh, it's dark. Yeah, so he was there for four to five hours, just you know, impaled on this rose. Can't you bush. yell for help? He was yelling for help, and Rose's eventually mess, somebody yeah. heard him, and they came and helped him out. That's why you have a dog. Now, now, so he was taken to the hospital, and the doctor probably said, "Never seen this before, but we got to figure this <laughs> out, right?" Well, he's okay. That's the good part of the story. Wow. But the moral of the story was, you've got to be careful. You know, I told you about about just going by the side of my yard that one time where uh, I had uh, the water had come on. I had an automatic irrigation mm -hmm. system had come on the lawn and I was coming around one end of the house. And so the water had gone on and I thought, you know, I don't want to go all the way back and come around the other side. I bet if I jump and quickly go through, I can get it through the sprinklers <laughs> without getting too wet. That sounds like a kid would do, oh, right? Yeah, definitely. So I had my eye on the sprinklers, you know, make, trying to make sure that I could get through without getting yeah, too wet yeah. and didn't realize that there was a branch from a birch tree Ooh. right at head level. So not only did I get wet, I hit my head on the birch tree and ended up sprawled in the oh. sprinklers. <laughs> was he wet, way wet from wet. head to toe. You know, I think we've got an idea for a small book here, Garden Tragedies. Oh, and people there's a could, lot of them. People could write in, and you could take all these stories and, and put a book together. That, that's yeah. interesting. Um, yeah, gardening can be dangerous. Yeah. So, you need, so anyway, there's the garden gators. Make sure you get the protectors for your arms and your legs. So speaking of that, Tiger, because you're out and about doing a lot of landscape work and dealing with trees, yeah. you have a lot of people falling out of trees these days? Me, myself? Well, I mean, people you've worked with or people you've seen, or you must have a story or two. Um, and my son's got a lot of those stories. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, your son is They like involve a... him. The only thing that I that comes to my mind and happened to myself was I was working on someone's property, and we were trimming the tree. And I was just, I was, it wasn't a, it was a big tree, but I was just up in the tree a little ways. Um, and I wasn't doing anything major, so I wasn't, you know fully harnessed in or anything right. like that just trimming off a little bit of a branch and not a big deal but the one thing i didn't see was this branch had a beehive on it oh so when i trimmed it it fell to the ground obviously the bees came out and were not happy about the situation well when you're stuck in a tree 
and you've got bees bees and you need to get down and like i said it was only like maybe like a i was only up like four feet so i think i used like a little step stool to get down but when there's bees stinging you as you're actively trying to get out of a tree and manage a step stool and then you're trapped in a backyard where they just continue i think i walked away that day with 18 bee stings. Are you serious? 18. So you went yeah. to the hospital or did you pick him up? Who picked him? No, I I I I didn't go to the hospital. I I was on watch meaning like I was working with other people and I was like, "Ah, you know, if I start to feel sleepy or right. anything, take me to the doctor." But I was able to be okay. But and, you had to get him out eventually, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I I don't necessarily know if I inspected myself and got them all out, but I um I, I, you know, I, I don't know. I, I, it wasn't too bad. Well, you I mean, learn, it's, you, you learned that you're not allergic. Is that well, what, yeah. I've, I've been stung a lot of times. So you're like throughout. those snake guys that put the venom in themselves. Now you're yeah. probably fine. With, with well, these uh, things. You, you worry because one day sometimes you develop an allergy, right? Like if sometimes you hear about that where people get stung so much and they yeah, it's develop just the opposite of an developing allergy. an immunity. You yeah. Eventually. Yeah become uh yeah susceptible to so them. i do worry about that because i have this false sense of hope and that's that's what happened to me when i got this this incident was i knew i wasn't necessarily allergic to bees because i've been stung a while mm -hmm. but i was worried because there were so many stings that it would affect me in some way but i was okay okay here's a question from rick rick right. is thinks or knows that the, the sun sugar tomato which we're familiar with john right. is the second sweetest tomato of all time he wants to know the first most sweetest tomato Sweet aperitif. Yep. Sweet aperitif, Rick. Yeah. Now Which is available. It is. It's also available, and it's 30% sweeter than sun sugar. Right. So on GardenAmerica.com? Yeah. Oh, we're yeah. selling everything now, folks. Come on. <laughs> Knock that door down. GardenAmerica.com. And did you have a comment? You said there was a comment from Kathy that wondered about Juliet. Yeah, and she's, we, we posted we it we was do, available. I said, yes, John's checking. It's okay. available. Yeah, it is available. Yeah. So there were only a few that I discontinued from last year um either because we didn't sell enough of that variety lack or of beef, interest or right or lack of uh seed source so we did that and we're not going to have all the varieties of super dwarfs that we had last year but we also have two new varieties of sweet super dwarf that are brand new so those are not up. those are Hopefully be up next week. This has nothing to do with our conversation, but I have a Dracenia that I kept under my eaves. <laughs> yeah. And that uh, I went out there one day about two weeks ago, and it didn't look good. It just kind of looked like uh, somebody who was kind of sick and not standing up straight. They don't like the cold weather. I felt the leaves. They were sticky. And I went, uh, -oh. uh scale. I looked underneath. Yeah. Scale. So, you know what? It does work. I pushed it out on the patio. I took a stream, a hose, washed it all down, and then rubbed as many of the leaves as I, as I could. Left it out there for the rain. Perked up, it's beautiful. Yeah. That's Normally what you do with with that is uh, get a Q-tip and dip it in rubbing alcohol. Use that to wipe off the scale before so many, you host So it many down. leaves, though. I didn't want to. It's just like, oh, this could take It's a lot forever. of work. It is a lot of work. The other thing you could do is get some Bayer all-in-one systemic rose food. Yeah, just, just pour it in there. It, it goes up into the whole plant. Translocates. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's even easier. Got to be careful, though. I think there's a different dilution if you're using it in pots. Correct. Yeah, be, because, they used to make those houseplant steaks. Do they still make? No, those? but um, Bonite has a systemic houseplant one. It's a granule, a granule, and then the Bayer the granule rose and flower one can be used. Can be used. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for answering my question. Although okay. we should be correcting that it's bio advanced. Bio advanced. Yeah, bio yeah. advanced. That's yeah. yes. That's that's true. Um, I was just thinking. There's a plant, the cabbage tree. That this is the second one I've had. I killed my first one, and they're almost impossible to find. But the first one, I didn't realize I had mealybugs in all the stems. And here's the, uh, you know, a second one like five years later that I'm growing, growing really well, but I pulled off some leaves at the bottom, and again, mealybugs. So there's something about that particular plant that just attracts mealybugs. Mm. I don't have them anywhere else in the yard. And the cabbage tree, Dendrocerus, is fascinating, I think, because of the story behind it. And I, we've talked about this before, right? Yeah. It's from the, uh, is it the Juan Ferdinand Islands off the coast of Chile? And that's where Alexander Selkirk was marooned. And Alexander Selkirk was the... Robinson re Crusoe? ...real-life name of Robinson Crusoe. That's mm -hmm. where the story came from that uh, was written about him. But he... He 
uh, was able to eat some of the leaves of these cabbage trees that were on this island because it's the only place they grow. And when he was rescued from the island, the people, the sailors that rescued him thought, you know, this could happen to somebody else. They get marooned here. So they put goats on the island so that if anybody else got marooned there, they'd have a source of meat. Well, the goats... And maybe ate, milk. Yeah. And the goats ate all the cabbage trees. So a few years ago, there were only three left in oh the my world. Oh, gosh. See, that's what people don't think about. Yeah. Well, especially back then. Yeah, you know, this yeah, is back in not. the early 1800s, right? So anyway, uh, people tried to protect it by, you know, pulling the seeds off these three plants that were still alive. And, and now you can occasionally bid on eBay and get one. So I have one, and, um, and it's doing really well, but it does get those mealybugs. So I'm going to try the bio-advanced, uh, pouring it into that plant, see if that takes care of it. I don't eat the leaves anyway. Yeah, I would so I imagine care. it would work well for yeah. the mealybug. Hmm. Yeah. I love plants with stories like that. Yeah. Neat, neat backstories, history. Do we have any modern-day plant hunters anymore, John? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah well, so. you know, we had Bob Reedmiller on the first um, hour talking about cactus and succulents, and he was talking about Kelly Griffin, mm -hmm. who's doing a lot of breeding of uh, aloes and agaves and mm -hmm. things like that. But he's also a plant hunter and goes around the world searching for plants, new and unusual succulents. Sure. And they're in a good spot because of who they work for. Not only do they go around the world looking, but they also get calls from people that are oh, yeah. that say, hey, come here and take a look at this. And, right, right. you know, find out what's what's going on here. And, you know, and then brings it back and then incorporates it into some of the other plants that they have now. And it's pretty cool stuff. And then who's the, the man who was the owned herons with nursery oh i don't know up in washington it was a another plant hunter that's uh in recent years that's been around the world collecting new plants we got to take a break one more segment coming up so if you have any questions or comments hey do want to remind you too speaking of uh plant hunting things like that if you have any pictures uh, some melodies on your plants want to send them to us or just uh take a picture of what your backyard looks like or maybe you're proud of something you've grown you can send it to us. That's John at GardenAmerica.com. Could show up on Facebook or our newsletter. We're going to take a break. Coming Want a right better back. better looking lawn with less effort? Husqvarna's robotic automower is the effortless way to mow. Husqvarna's intelligent design allows the automower to maneuver around your lawn without supervision, even over tricky terrain and around obstacles. It knows when it needs to be charged and directs itself back to the charging dock. With convenient control options, the Husqvarna allows you to set it and forget it, even from your smartphone. Thanks to Husqvarna, you can have a great looking lawn and more time to enjoy it this season. Visit Mission Hills Nursery at 1525 Fort Stockton Drive in San Diego or go to missionhillsnursery.com for more info. Having bug problems this season? Need an overall solution? Try Natural Guard Spinosad Soap. This combination of spinosad and fatty acids kills aphids, mealybugs, worms, caterpillars, and other bugs that plague your garden. It's also safe to use around your fruit and veggies to make sure you enjoy your crop and not those pesky critters. Find Natural Guard Spinosad Soap in a ready-to-use bottle or ready-to-spray for those large garden plots at your favorite independent garden center. Go to Fertilome.com for more information. My computer is so slow, it's making me crazy. I used to have that problem. Did you quit using a computer or, or did you buy a new one? No, I called Geeks on Site. They made an appointment to visit my home and showed up the same day. You mean they didn't ask you to bring your computer to a shop? That's what happened when I called a support company. Geeks on Site can go to your home or business or even repair your computer online. They have 24-7 emergency service. If you are having problems with your PC or Mac, call Geeks on Site. 1-800-591-1682. Computer repair experts are available 24-7. Call now for a free diagnosis. 1-800-591-1682. Data recovery, virus removal, and maintenance for all laptops, desktops, printers, and networks. That's Geeks on Site for friendly certified computer repair experts available 24-7 over the phone or in your home or business. Just call 1-800-591-1682. Time changes everything. For me, becoming a single father of by annual maintenance fees that nearly tripled over a three-year period, I was desperate to get out. After searching online for sell my timeshare or get out of my timeshare, it just looked like one scam after another. I needed a real, permanent, and legitimate way to get out of this for good. I'm Brandon Reed, the founder of Timeshare Exit Team. 
We will get you out of the timeshare you can't use or can't afford anymore. We get people out safely, legally, and permanently. We are more successful because we have more solutions. Schedule a free consultation to review your ownership situation and find the best strategy for you. If we can't get you out, we will give you a full refund. Call Timeshare Exit Team today. Call 800-929-8112. That's 800-929-8112. That's 800-929-8112. Call Timeshare Exit Team today. Attention business owners and independent contractors. This is a money-saving message from Tax Mediation Services. If your business owes $20,000 or more in taxes, we can help you today, right now. Listen, dealing with the IRS is no picnic. It's an intimidating and extremely stressful process and you don't want to go it alone. Our attorneys know every law, every tax break, and every possible opportunity to help you resolve and reduce your tax debt. And if you owe more than $20,000, you may be at the top of their hit list. So don't take your tax debt lightly because it will not go away on its own. The IRS can seize your bank accounts, your home, and even shut down your business. Call our tax experts today at 1-800-285-4765 and let us deal with the IRS while you focus on your business. That's 1-800-285-4765. Again, 800-285-4765. Americans are going crazy for a new Italian diet pill that burns three times more fat than dieting alone. And the next 100 callers get three bottles for free. Sold under the brand name Invigorate 3X. This powerful pill triggers metabolic acceleration, a process that's deficient to most Americans, making weight loss loss a hassle. But a new study shows 30 pounds gone in 90 days with just two capsules a day. Julie B. of Nashville says, I was skeptical, but when I saw a famous doctor made it, I decided to try it. I was shocked. I lost 16 pounds in six weeks. For a limited time, our listeners get three free bottles with a qualifying order. Call 1-800-932-1789 now to get started. Call in the next 10 minutes and also get a free bottle of the doctor's Ultra Detox. And don't forget your free 14-day diet fix. No obligation and 100% free when you call right now. 800-932-1789. 800-932-1789. This is Biz Talk Radio, America's home for business talk. Online at biztalkradio.com. Welcome back to the Garden America Radio Show with Brian, John, and Tiger. The phone lines are open right now at 855-424-9825. That's 855-424-9825. Or john at gardenamerica.com. Hey, oh, just no. like that, two hours is quick, and we are already into our final segment. John just jinxed me by updating his computer. <laughs> you did. John updated his computer. He's starting. I was trying to turn it off, and it says, don't power off, and installing update one of nine. Okay, well, we'll deal with that. Maybe have a take some phone calls on that if people <laughs> are interested. Okay, final segment here, Biz Talk Radio. Brian Main, John Bagnasco, Tiger Palafox here. Happy Saturday. Uh, it's been a good show so far. A lot of good Facebook questions, and I yeah. think so far we're up to date on answering our Facebook questions, Tiger, I do believe. Yeah, Rick had asked about spraying fruit trees uh when when it was time for spraying fruit trees and i think what he's referring to is the dormant oil sprays that you would want to spray whenever the coldest or eh, no not wherever the coldest because if it's really cold where you're at you're not going to go out and spray fruit trees but whenever your trees are dormant so you know for those of you that are in very cold temperatures i'm sure your trees are dormant now if you get a nice day you can go out and spray protect them um uh the ultra fine Dormant oil spray, the copper soap, copper soap, um, what copper else? sulfate, copper sulfate. Right. Um, what else do they use? To Lime spray? sulfur is the yeah. number one control for peach leaf curl, but I don't think it's still sold in California. I haven't it? seen lime sulfur in a long time. Yeah, I think you can buy it online. Yeah. And but, it's um, also in some, some type of uh, pet dips. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. You can, you can get it that way. But... You have to use your dormant spray before in the in the late winter before the buds break on your tree. Yeah. So for most of the people in mild time temperatures like us, usually our coldest time is January to February. Those three weeks of that gap there, that's usually our coldest time. Um, obviously, for people around the other parts of the country, I mean, the 
the East Coast, they probably you're looking late March yeah. uh, into mid April. Yeah. And then um, on the southeast, probably similar to us. Similar to us. Yeah. 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 So in the case of case of peach leaf curl, once the uh, flower buds begin to break and open, the tree's already been infected. So it doesn't do any good at all to spray at that point. But I have to tell you that well, I, I believe the copper sprays are are totally ineffective. Yeah. I think that lime sulfur is the only thing that really controls peach leaf curl. And now let me ask you this because I was wondering now it's it's ineffective if you if you have it flower, if the buds are already there and you want to spray, um, it's ineffective for that season. Right. But is it, it still effective for no. no. So no. don't even waste your time. Right. If they have peach leaf curl during the growing time of year, don't even waste your time spraying it. Wait until the right. winter again. Yeah, the one thing that you could do would be to keep the tree healthy okay. by making sure you fertilize it. Uh -huh. uh, and usually with peach leaf curl, you probably notice this, that if you've got it in the spring and you have a real bad case, those leaves turn yellow, fall yeah. off, they become distorted, but they're usually replaced with new growth that's okay. Goes untreated could kill the tree. Yeah, it 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 could right. I mean, right. you know, that's the thing people think about. They, it's nothing that they see right away with tree death. Meaning, you know, normally with a disease or problem, you start to see branches die off, right. fruit production go down, all these things. Peach leaf curl, it will kill the tree after a series of years going untreated. But there's no real signs besides this distorted growth. Right. Yeah. That's. Uh, it's like diseases in human beings. You know, there's diseases you get that if they're untreated, you'll eventually die. Yeah. But, but you, you don't you see any signs right. on the person themselves. Yeah. Peach leaf curl, it seems so innocent at first. Then there's yep. a lot of running and screaming. <laughs> <laughs> and not to be mixed up because it's not just peaches. No, nectarines, which are just right. hairless peaches. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Here, here have a hairless <laughs> peach. Well, they are. They're the, really the peach. same plant. It is, huh? Pe peaches with, uh, what is that, Ap Appalachia? Apple you know when oh, you yeah. uh, when you when people can't grow hair, right? <laughs> oh, apicia. Uh, alopecia. 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 Right. Yeah. Right. Or hair falls out. Yeah. yeah this um, is a nice phone call coming in at the wrong time. <laughs> I thought that was our our signing off music. All of a sudden, I think I knew who that might be. I think that's I think that's the restoration company calling me. So they oh, can, yeah. they can they can leave a uh, a detailed voicemail. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Any any final questions on Facebook? Let's see. I haven't um, seen. No, the last thing is uh, good morning, Kathy Ray from Rochelle Ferguson. So no. people talk to me. You can talk to each other on Facebook. Yeah, what, what are the advantages? Hey, if we don't have any other questions, I wanted to mention a couple of tomatoes that we have on the website now that we offered for the first time last year. And they were so successful, we're going to offer them again this year. And one was Cloudy Day. Yeah. which is a great tomato for coastal areas and or cooler climates because they're extremely productive. And people in, like up in the Bay Area, they always planted San Francisco fog because it would reliably produce. But sure. Horrible flavor or no flavor. Right. It's like eating cardboard, you know. Probably better than a store-bought tomato. But anyway, cloudy day tastes really good and it's very productive. So... If you used to plant San Francisco fog, think about cloudy day. So that sounds like something perfect for somebody next to the beach or the coast, oh, yeah, right? Absolutely. That's, that's what it is, basically. Yeah. Like the Bay Area or yeah. cloudy areas uh, up in Northern California, mm -hmm. uh, Oregon, places like that. Then the other one that was really successful last year was Saucy Lady, which um, uh, our friend Alice Doyle up at Log House Plants, it's really available just because of her. She brought back an old tomato that had disappeared from production. And this is the best tomato for cooking. You take a saucy laid tomato, put it in a pan, and she says it just melts down in a sauce. Really? Yeah. So that would be great for spaghetti sauce. Oh, fantastic. And extremely productive. What I mean, is your favorite sandwich tomato, John? I didn't have one anymore. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, they all taste the same to me now, but... Everything we uh, talk to you, you about is reminiscing. I, you and I always used to like sweeter tomatoes. Yeah, exactly. You know, so pineapple. Yeah. A great sweet tomato. I do like a sweeter tomato. Yeah, I wasn't real big on the acid tomatoes, but some yeah. people like the acid flavor in tomatoes. Well, hippies. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that the Berkeley tie-dye one, then? The Berkeley tie-dye, yeah. Is that what it is? That's a perfect yeah. name, by the way. That's yeah. great. Berkeley tie-dye's got a great flavor. It's got kind of a balance. 
between the two. Uh, one of my son Jesse's favorite tomatoes was chocolate stripes. Yeah. That's a nice looking tomato. Yeah, it's a good looking tomato and has a great flavor. Not extremely productive, but you know, again, when I if I'm gonna grow a vegetable or a fruit, I usually want to grow something that is you can't go to the store and buy. Right. And usually you can a lot of uh, supermarkets now have heirloom tomatoes, but they don't have them by variety. They're usually just, just mixed. A mix. So grow your own. Hey, thank you so much. That's going to do it for another show. Garden America here on Facebook Live and, of course, uh, Biz Talk Radio streaming around the world and across the country. Thank you so much. I want to thank the good uh, crew. I want to thank Brandon, Zach, Jeremiah at the Mothership keeping us on the air, Biz Talk Radio, and, of course, all you who have tuned in and uh, watch us on Facebook Live. For the entire crew here, Tiger, John, I'm Brian. See you next week. Until then, get growing. America. Listen on the go. Download the BizTalk Radio.